gun meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back for another episode of your favorite internet gun meme show. Today we have a lot to cover, and this is a fan-requested episode, something that we teased a little bit before, and something you guys have been begging for. Actually, this is one of the first time you guys have actually had a repeated theme that you've asked for a lot, so we are getting to the Boog side quest memes. But before we do, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Rage. I'm, I'm joking, no, no, we're not doing that this time. So it is currently Wednesday, about midday, because we're lazy like that. Greetings from yesterday. We just found out that Bloomberg is dropping out of the race. You remember last week on, or excuse me, two weeks ago on Gun Meme Review, last Gun Meme Review, two weeks ago, first and third Thursdays, tell your friends. But on that episode, we were covering how Bloomberg was dropping a lot of ad money in anti-gun ads and his presidential ads on gun videos like this one. So he was actually like an unofficial sponsor of Gun Meme Review for a while, which is awesome because I kept telling him to go fuck himself. Seriously, fuck that guy. But this morning we found out he had dropped out of the race, which, Bye, Felicia. Today, I am leaving the race for the same reason, to defeat Donald Trump because staying in would make it. So sadly, we're going to have to uh, say that the mini mic memes are outdated, which is a real shame. We had some good ones. We did not have good ones. But not all is lost because we have another guy to make fun of this week. Creepy Uncle Joe, buy a shotgun, Biden. Put that double barrel shotgun and fired two blasts. As of now, I think he's actually technically winning the Democratic primary, which, uh, you know, I wasn't aware of that, and I still don't think he's all that aware of that. This is my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh, no, this is the, oh, you switched on me. But the reason I bring up creepy Uncle Joe is that he brought up the ghost of gun meme reviews past with the golden child of this crappy internet show. Who is that, you may ask? None other than Beta, Beto, or Rourke. This guy can change the face of what we're dealing with with regard to guns, assault weapons. If I win, I'm coming for it. Yes, our spray tanned Irish friend who was notorious for saying, hell yes, he's going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. To which the gun community kind of collectively replied, um, hell yes, come get this dick. Beto just won't go away. He's like a bad rash or crazy ex or the coronavirus which I've decided to completely stop joking about before karma actually kills me. So anyway, moving on to uh, the reason I brought it up. Beto O'Rourke endorses Biden. Biden says O'Rourke will be, quote, the one who leads his gun control efforts. Looks like Boogaloo is back on the menu, boys. God, now I feel like a real poor. Even the orcs have nods. Get some like cardboard tubes or something and tape them to a skateboarding helmet. Donut, can I have a skateboarding helmet? Look at the look on Beto's face. He looks just, I don't know. I think this election cycle has been kind of hard on him. You all right, Beto? Is everything okay at home? I don't really care about you or your well-being at all. I just kind of want to know if you're having a bad time. There's no way an AK-47 can protect you, me. Now, I really don't have any Asian heritage at all. Um, so I can't say anything about this without being kind of racist, I think. But Filthy Frank can say it for me. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker! There's no way an AK-47 can protect you. Yeah, I mean, like, it makes for a shitty shield. Like, it's not very good body armor. Um, it's not like a good seatbelt either. Can't protect you in a car wreck. Not like as the Vice President of the United States, he gave pretty damn illegal advice anyway on home defense and the use of firearms. So, you know, hey, whatever. Fired two blasts. Boogaloo side quest number 502. Is that what we're up to now? Swap Joe Biden's heart pills for Tic Tacs, dementia medication for Pez, and his Viagra for more Viagra. High level stealth required. Unlocks to catch a senator quest line. Achievement unlocked. And now we play the waiting game. Judging by his debate performances, uh, looks like somebody's already unlocked that achievement. 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. Look at this dude, it's like he's auditioning to be the Jack Nicholson Joker. And as you can see, I'm a lot happier. I'm just now realizing this dude's eyebrows are all out of whack. It's like the longer you look at this, the worse it gets. But that is a perfect transition into the aforementioned theme of this gun meme review, the Boogaloo side quest. Now we actually did one before on another gun meme review. I know we're late to the game. We're coming to the Boogaloo side quest. Let's get into the memes because you guys have bitched before. There's not enough memes. Fucking prepare your asshole. <laughs> Boogaloo side quest number 16. 
Help Gary Johnson find the ruins of the lost city of Aleppo. Reward, Austin Peterson's pistol. Anybody who followed the Libertarian candidates in 2016, they, they, they know that one. Also, quick shout out to my homie Austin Peterson. Awesome dude. Came by the shop one time. Any political candidate that's willing to shoot AKs with some rando from the internet, it's okay in my book. Boogaloo quest. A side quest. Like, Boogaloo Quest is just like Galaxy Quest. I don't know what the fuck that is. Sacrifice a pedo to the forest with the boys. To the forest, okay. Unlocks Wendigo Gang Perk. <laughs> Experience, plus 250, plus 25 strength. Start side quest. Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck? What is this? Ooh. Ole, 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 ole. Don't use the first one because that one was like, that just sounds terrible. Terrible. Boogaloo side quest number 852. Find the Zuck and waterboard him every time he tries to speak. Plus 50 freedom of speech. <laughs> Plus 30 karma. Achievement unlocked. Freedom swimming. That's pretty rough, and I'm pretty sure my Facebook account and Instagram account are in danger now. Thank you to Lance. Very cool. If you've ever been waterboarded. Yeah. Boogaloo side quest number 4723. Melee three tyrants to tether the briefcase filled with form fours. Perk unlocked the negotiator. One of my favorite movies, by the way. Falling Down with Michael Douglas. Absolutely check it out. Rick, have you ever heard the expression, the customer is always right? Boogaloo side quest number 762. Nice. Find Demolition Ranch and convert him against the state. Rewards, plus 150 firepower, plus 1500 ammunition, plus 100 armored transport. I feel like it goes without saying, like, this is just a theoretical, like, future state. Like, this is... I'm not actually suggesting to do this. This is the problem with Boogaloo memes. The Moogaloo... Uh, the Moogaloo, Jesus. The Boogaloo memes started out really funny. And it was funny when nobody was paying attention to it, too. But it simultaneously got way less funny. Like, people just stopped putting any effort into jokes. And it also became kind of high profile. And people were talking about it and following the hashtag Boogaloo and shit. And they were finding these edgy kids that are just, like, making murder threats. You know, it's not a, it's not a joke if there's no punchline. I know I'm one of the people that talks about all the, the Boogaloo memes and the Boogaloo side quest or whatever. This is humor, guys. Like, just try to settle down on things that could actually be like actual actionable threats on real people. Please don't go to jail. I don't get any of your views from jail. But now that I've thrown that disclaimer out there, and all the edge lords will say I'm a red coat. Back to the Boogaloo memes. Boogaloo side quest number 369. Fire a tyrant from a cannon and shoot him midair. See, that's an action of, well, I guess tyrant theoretical. Okay, well, all right. I'm including this one only because the achievement unlocked is yeet and skeet. <laughs> yeah, see, as long as it stays theoretical and it's, it's actually a joke. All right. I feel like I have to preface this one a lot because this is probably one of the edgiest ones we've done. How did you lose your business? Well, it all started with the goddamn Boogaloo memes. Boogaloo side quest. Didn't even give me a number. I'm skipping this one, actually. Know the format if you're gonna make a meme. Come on, guys. Boogaloo side quest number 100. Travel to Russia and find and bring back Jordan Peterson and his army of Jungian lobsters. Starts, I'll show you a bloody dominance hierarchy. Storyline. Get yeeted with a lobster, man. And shout out to Jordan Peterson for just generally being a bro. For a lot of you guys that are kind of in the younger demographic, if you haven't read 12 Rules for Life, highly recommend it. Download Audible for your free try. <laughs> that couldn't resist, sorry. <laughs> Get that sweet sponsor money. <laughs> Boogaloo side quest number 043. You know, you could just say 43. ATF most wanted. Light a Cuban cigar with a flamethrower after using it to barbecue. Okay, yep. No, you guys, I just, we just had this talk. Reward adds Elon Musk as a homie. No, homies are black. Shit, actually, on the note of flamethrowers. One second. Interrupt. Sorry, Lance. I appreciate you too. Take it. Mm. Smells like leaking butane in future videos. Boogaloo side quest 69. Nice. Find a girl that has your six. Reward plus 50 family. Minus 100 depression. Unlocks. Create new players. <laughs> nice. Okay, I get it. Activates Mr. and Mrs. Smith's story mode. See, I like this meme template. I hope you guys don't kill it. And the minus 100 depression. All right, for the guys making these memes, focus on your depression first. Do what you need to do to become more confident in yourself. Get the skills and then you'll get the girl. Work on the depression first, because the chick is not gonna make you happy. And if you think she will, it's gonna hurt you in the long run. You guys are calling me like Papa Clash and you know AK Daddy and all this other 
gay shit. Least I can do is at least try to be a bit of a mentor figure for the younger guys. Too wholesome, moving on. Boogaloo side quest number 306. Get 25 confirmed kills with a California compliant weapon. Achievement unlocked, playing by the rules. God, I know the California compliant shit's just awful, but that, I know they don't have a choice, that stock, that just everything about this looks atrocious. Yeah, actually, uh, seeing this reminds me, I wanted to do a quick shout out for all the guys in California. It turns out a lot of my audience is in California, which, I mean, F, F in the chat. There's a really awesome company that I wanted to kind of help out a little bit that does the California compliance stuff without having to do some awful, just, can you say coat hanger abortion on YouTube? No? Okay, I won't say it then. That company is Calikey. Now Calikey is just a, a conversion kit for a California compliant rifle. Basically, you can just take a standard AR-15 and it replaces your bolt carrier group and your charging handle. You don't have to do any of the dumb pistol grip shit, the stock shit. I think it actually becomes a featureless rifle or whatever the restriction is, but it turns the rifle into a single shot. Still have detachable mags and everything like that. The idea is you don't have to do any permanent modifications to the gun so that whenever you just leave California finally, or California unfucks itself, so yeah, when you leave California, you just pull out the Cali key, send it to one of your California homies. White homies, Asian homies. And then throw in a regular bolt carrier group and you're good to go. So yep, not really a sponsored ad or anything like that. Just wanted to give a shout out to a good company. Ah, it tastes like just a slightly higher mortality rate than a regular flu, but for some reason causing total pandemonium. Boogaloo side quest number 43, legendary difficulty. Yeet something something alphabet soup with a Viking ax while in a thunderstorm. Reward, Thor's hammer. Achievement unlocked. Well, excuse me, it's the coronavirus. Achievement unlocked, Thunderstruck. Yeah, well, if you try to attack anybody armed with uh, a Viking ax, probably not gonna go super well for you. In the words of Thunderstruck, the thunder of guns tore me apart. You man, Thunderstruck. Okay, no, I'm not even gonna try. Boogaloo side quest. Fire 100 firearms that held before war value of $3,000 or more. Reward, Gun Jesus Companion. Achieve, oh wait, hold on, this is, this, they didn't number this one. No, we're skipping it. Boogaloo side quest, number 69. Nice, although now we have two 69s. Nice. I'm thinking the physics of that. No, like just two separate occasions, I'm sure. Oh. Not like a, I don't know. So you have like a stack of four? I don't, I don't know, there's probably a. Or, or like. There's a trampoline involved. Or, or like a, <laughs> like the four man push up <laughs> style. Um, no, I think, well that's a pretty mutually exclusive activity. That's like a very like, that's a one cohesive unit sort of thing. And I guess like just four people, that doesn't, I, crowd doesn't really add anything to it. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, okay, this is retarded tangent. <clears throat> Boo Boo side quest number 91. What? Sorry, you didn't do whatever the second 69 was. Oh yeah, sorry, let me go back you to didn't that. Actually read the oh meme. yeah, I didn't even read the meme, uh, yeah, all right. Successfully administer the thought vaccine to anti-constitutionalist. Nice, okay, I like that. See, now we're getting back, we had a punchline. Reward, chicken tendies, new flannel, Garantham as a companion. Achievement unlocked. If you've ever, what's up guys, if you've ever managed to actually make a Boogaloo meme that was kind of funny and had a punchline, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thought vaccine, I like that. Successfully launch a fist, what's Michael Reeves saying? YouTube buddy. Gotta be careful with the algorithm these days. They're getting worse. As if everything else in this fucking video wasn't going to set that off. Into a stepper's anus from a can cannon. Achievement unlocked. The Swift Hand of Justice, formerly known as Fart Knocker. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Talk about anal fisting from a can cannon on YouTube for a bunch of 20 something year old dudes. Boogaloo side quest number 52, Texas Red. Successfully outdraw and win 19 plus one duels with alphabet boys using revolvers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a duel has to be consensual. Like you can't just like challenge someone to a duel and they have to duel you. And I, I don't see 20 of them saying yes. It's an odd meme, but it checks out. Achievement unlocked. Big Iron. Big Iron on his feet. Boogaloo side quest. The one Mosin to not suck ass. Yeah, no, this is too much to read. Boogaloo side quest number 22. Complete a contract on a tyrant using any rim fire. Achievement unlocked. Rim job well done. See? Punchline. Although, like, any rim fire aside from 22, I'd... pretty pointless. And of all the things I said, that is probably the most neutral in my head and is going to cause the biggest shitstorm in the comments. Stop trying to make the 17 HMR AK happen. It's not gonna happen. Boogaloo side quest number 76. Successfully tame a honey badger by feeding it Adderall and Bang energy drinks, then yeet it into a Soup Sons encampment. Tweaker Weasel companion unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Awesome balsam. The best part about this is that you could show this to anybody who's not into the Boogaloo meme thing, and they will think you had a stroke. 
What's Johnny up to? Oh, nothing. He just showed me a picture about feeding a rodent amphetamines and chucking it into alphabet soup. Is he okay? <laughs> and to close out the Boogaloo side quest part of this and just go right back to the regular gun memes, uh, when people are turning the Boogaloo side quest memes into lengthy, obnoxious memes, even though that's what killed the first generation of Boog memes. One more time for the people in the back. I didn't start disliking Boog memes because I'm a red coat trader that, you know, is apparently a Bernie fan or some shit, I don't know. I kind of started disliking them because that's all people sent me in my inbox for like a period of four months and they progressively got less and less funny because it's either the same joke or it's not a joke or I had to like delete it and hope the FBI wasn't watching. Pro tip, they're, they're watching. This format's fine. Please don't murder it. The better the memes you send in, the better the gun meme reviews are. Just remember that. You have a collective responsibility. Only you can prevent shitty meme review. All right, random meme rapid fire. When your M16 auto sear you bought online comes in the mail, instead of an auto sear, it's ATF tracking device, you now hear sirens coming in the distance. Oh no, it's all coming apart. Even Kronk's got nods, Jesus. If you break into my house and I yell, honey, get the Velveeta, just remember that door was locked for your protection. Fuck around and get clapped by a box of queso. Yeah, well you better hope whoever just broke into your house is like fucking paraplegic and you've got a little bit of time because you've still got to load that ammo into a magazine, bud. All right, and this has already been a really long gun meme review, so I'm just gonna cap it there. I'm excited to do another one in two weeks. Remember, first and third Thursdays. As always, I greatly appreciate you guys sending in these memes and just kind of distributing them, proliferating pro-gun propaganda all over the internet. One thing I did want to be sure to mention before you click away and go to like watch a Grand Thumb video or some shit, A, tell him I said hello. B, I did want to mention something that I've already announced on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, at real Brandon Herrera, Brandon Herrera was taken, it's a long story. We announced that we are doing, as part of the AK Factory buy, which we're doing an update on that on Monday, we have a shitload of AR parts. What I mean a shitload, I mean like, you could buy a pretty nice house with the amount of AR parts that I've got. I don't want to build AR-15s. I really don't, it's not my thing. I could just try to like sell it off to a big distributor or something like that, but I had kind of a crazy idea. We're going to be doing the biggest yard sale in gun industry history. Yeah, basically we're just gonna go to a parking lot. I think we had actually had to like rent out part of a building because it got so big. We're just gonna blow out AR-15 parts for like half off. I figured I could sell it at that price to like a big distributor or something like that, but I might as well just go directly to you guys first. We're gonna have a bunch of AK stuff there too, but it's gonna be mostly AR stuff. We're gonna have hundreds of barrels, hundreds of bolt carrier groups, thousands of pins, triggers, whatever, like so, so much shit. You have seriously no idea. But we're doing a one day only sale, Saturday, March 15th. It's gonna be down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at Sky Fitness. Green Mountain Barrels, uh, OEM'd, micro best, bolt carrier groups. I mean, it's pretty like mid-tier stuff. Yeah, it's a one day only thing. We're gonna be posting a bunch of updates on Instagram and stuff like that, but it's gonna be at Sky Fitness at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Gonna try to have a couple people out there and do a meet and greet, but we're, we're planning on having a few hundred people show up, hopefully more. But carpool down, bring your friends. Gonna have shit like $160 AR barrels for 80 bucks. I know there's a lot of closeted AR guys out there in the audience too. So if you wanna build an AR-15 for half off, Wow, the YouTube algorithm did not like that sentence. But yeah, this would be your perfect opportunity. Uh, and it also helps me pay for uh, the AK factory, so I don't end up wearing concrete shoes at the bottom of Lake Pontchartrain. Very few people will get that joke. Very few people will know that's not a joke. I'm super excited for it. We will be doing a YouTube video on that, so I think that's just gonna be fun. The biggest yard sale in gun industry history. It just sounds like a fucking Mr. Beast video, except with a couple hundred grand in AR parts. It's gonna be first come, first serve, so if you want first pick at all the good shit there, recommend coming early. Updates are coming, just wanted to point that out here early, because I know people have normal jobs and shit and they've gotta make plans. Anyway, this video is already long as fuck already and I know Delance has to edit it. Sorry, bud. So I will see you guys, he's shaking his head so hard right now. I will see you guys on Monday for that AK Factory update. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers. Yeah, on Monday. Bye-bye. The fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his rise to the top. But the killer you can stop your 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 st